What's up guys and welcome to today's video. If you've been here before, shout out to you. Thank you for tuning in to yet another video. And if you're new here, please get down there, hit subscribe. And while you're down there, hit the little bell icon so you don't miss out on any of the future videos. So in today's episode of what the heck can I clear out of this garage that is becoming way too overcrowded, we are going to be installing a freaking bug eye bumper on the coupe. I've had this bumper for months now and I haven't pull the trigger on doing the install on it. I think mainly because I'm I'm kind of scared, you know? I don't know how it's gonna turn out. I know it's gonna be a difficult task, but I've gotten to the point where I'm trying to make more space here in the garage, so I'm just gonna send it. Hopefully it looks good. If it doesn't, I mean, we can always throw the old bumpers back on. Forget we even try to do this, but obviously we're gonna try our best and hopefully it co does come out looking good. So I know this has been done a couple of times, not too many, but it has been done. And actually one of my good friends, Raphael, has done it and I've been going back and forth chatting with him. He's done it twice now, so he's, I guess, an expert you could say because he's done it twice. I'm sure everyone who has done it has only done it once. He has been giving me some pointers, sending me pictures and everything. So I think I have a good idea. I'm a lot more confident now that he has shared all of his knowledge with me. So I'm gonna try to translate that into this and hopefully it works out. I'm sure every situation is different and I might run into issues that he didn't run into, but I think we'll be good. So anyways, we have to do this. This is gonna be like a couple day process because I don't wanna rush this and I've never done this. So I want, I like, I need to take my time basically. So the bumper is in overall pretty good shape. It's in rough shape, but it's in good shape if, if you catch my drift. But the only thing that's broken is this little tab right here, which I'm gonna have to fix. That is one of the thing, I mean, that's the only thing really, other than scuffs and scratches, which it's gonna get painted, so I'm not worried about it. But before we get started on this install, I got some goodies over here from Tom over at Cartboy. He ended up making some pull straps. I believe he made them originally for uh, Bucky Lasek, but I guess he found that it was easy to make them and he wanted to reproduce a whole bunch of them. So he came out with a whole bunch of colors, but he didn't come out with purple. So I kept bugging him and he finally made a set of purples. So obviously I had to snag a set and we're gonna throw them on. So if you guys remember, we have these right here that I got off of like an old like 80s, eight series BMW coupe. So we're gonna go ahead and take these off. And the hole was tight on these too. That's why it's spinning like that. So got it off now. I have to take it. I have to take the bolt off of this. So one second. All right, so out with the old and going in with the new. The new new. Go ahead and tighten it real quick. Get it nice and straight. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna go ahead and take this off because I'm not gonna run this thing. So let's go ahead and take it off. I had even cut it all nice to go around all of this, but eh, we don't need this where we're going. I'm gonna go ahead and take this speaker off right now. There we go. Get the speaker out and voila. We won't be listening to any music in this car, so this can go in the bin. Those speakers are probably blown anyway, so we don't need them, but check out how nice the door looks now. I still gotta get all of this off, but once I get all of that off and actually clean the door, the door is actually in really nice shape. I did get some black ones of these window cranks on order, so hopefully we should be able to put them on in this video. I think with all the Prime Day deals, Amazon is pretty backed up, so. I think it should get here within the next two days. So should be able to throw those on. Then we'll get like the final look of the door. Although I'm considering more and more getting the six over crest uh, door cars. But for the meantime, we'll, we'll get the final look of the door for the meantime. I guess it's not final. I don't know. Anyways, this right here is legit.
So I can't get the bumper to even sit on here because this right here is in the way. So it won't let the fog light area go in. So I cut out a piece of the bumper and the little piece that goes right behind it. I think this will give me enough space. If not, then I'll keep cutting, but I don't want to take too much off of it. The bumper wouldn't be an issue if I had the JDM lightweight bumper, but I don't on this car. I might get it, I might not. I'm just gonna do this for now. I'm gonna go ahead and cut the other side, but it takes way too long with the Sawzall, so I'm gonna pull out my plasma cutter and see how fast I can get it done. The plasma cutter made easy work out of this, but check this out. This is like a rough idea of what it's gonna look like. It's angled up because it won't fit because of the corners because the headlights are still on. So tomorrow we're gonna go ahead and take the headlights off, get it mocked up even better, and then we'll know exactly where we need to cut. I know where I need to cut, but I, I wanna see how I can make it like as best as I can, so. I'm gonna go ahead and take the headlights and corner lights off, then we'll figure out the fitment. Tomorrow we will be plastic welding the bottom like little vent piece that's broken. And I'm gonna have to cut the top and put another piece of plastic bumper on there. So I'm gonna have to plastic weld that too. So catch you guys in the morning. It is now the next day. Let's jump right into it. Let's take these lights off, test fit the bumper one more time. So it wasn't just the lights that were getting in the way of the bumper being able to mount onto the car. This bottom section of the crash bar, I guess you can call it, it's in the way of all of this on the hood. I mean, on the bumper. So basically, I'm gonna take the whole thing off and just cut the bottom part off. And I think after that, we should be good. I'm gonna go ahead, take it off, cut it off, see if it fits. All right guys, it is a hot one today, but I took this whole bottom piece out of the bumper and now it sits on the car. So just so you guys can get like a general idea of what it's gonna look like, I do have to figure out, I know I have to cut this obviously, but I need to figure out how I'm gonna work with this because this is not cutting it right now. Another issue I found is that the arch on the bumper is like, it comes a lot in. So as you can see, the tire is touching and that's on both sides, but I'm not too worried about that. I can always cut it farther in. I need to worry about the face of it and make it look good. So I cut out the corner pieces that stick out like right there. So I cut that out. Now the corner light fits. I also cut out the top of this bumper that I had laying around. This thing is trash as you can see. It was broken right here, broken tabs. I've seen people put the top part on the top of those bumpers, but I don't know. I don't know if it's gonna work. I'm trying to get in contact with someone that I saw has like a very clean install on his car and he did the whole like top conversion. So I don't know how much of the top he cut off the old one and the new one. So like I said, I'm trying to get a hold of him. So I'm gonna take a break and see what happens because the gaps is something I'm not really happy with right now. So I'm gonna see what I can find out. All right guys, so it's been a couple of days and I haven't been touching the car at all. I did try to use the hot stapler or plastic welder or whatever the heck it's called. And I got some pretty good results out of it, but I'm still stuck on the fitment of this dang bumper. I spoke to a guy that basically just cut off the whole top of the bug eye bumper and the whole top of the normal bumper and swapped them over basically. But he didn't have any pictures for me. Literally, he told me that all he did was that. And I mean, it wasn't much help because I knew that people have done that too, but it seems like the best way to get the cleanest results so i've been just trying to think of what to do and how to go about it and i was telling emily last night that what i need to do really is just freaking grow a pair and start cutting this thing if i can get it to look good cool if not 
I still have the white one that I can just throw back on. So, I mean, if I mess up, this video probably won't even make it on YouTube. But I'm going to go ahead and cut this off and see how we do. Because all I have to do is swap the tops and basically just get it together and it's going to need body work, obviously. And I'm not a body guy, so Ivan, if you're watching this, the second step is gonna be all on you. So I tried removing just the top lip because that's what I had cut out at first from the original green bumper. And it turns out that I need a lot more than that. Seems to line up pretty well here in the middle. And then once you get out here, it doesn't line up anymore. And as you can see, this bumper right here goes too far in under the corner lights. And I really don't like that look. So I am gonna have to cut it all along the edge right here luckily for me i had three bumpers laying around well i had two laying around and the one white one that was on the car the white one is the one in the best condition so i'm not trying to cut that one up just so i can have a backup but this red one we are gonna go ahead and cut up the top of this and see if we can get it to mold onto that and if we can then we're in business All right guys, as you can see, it is super hot today. Let me check the weather real quick. The weather right now is currently 95, but with all the humidity, it feels like 104 and I'm not kidding. Let's see if it'll focus on that. So I cut the two bumpers and I put the top of the GC bumper over the GD bumper. And look, it looks pretty good. It's not on all the way, but once I put it up all the way, the gap right here looks a lot better. Like I am liking this look. It's a little long right here, so I have to trim it a little bit. And then on this side, the actual bumper beam is all messed up. So that's why you see it come up here and back down because it's like lifted right there. So before I make any more progress with the bumper, I am actually going to have to fix that bumper beam. I don't know what the heck to do with it yet. I've already tried beating it like four days ago when I was last working on it and it wasn't working. So I don't know if I'm just gonna have to buy a new bumper beam. If I do, I might go JDM lightweight. I'm not sure. I'm gonna go inside, cool off and think about it. But for now, the bumper is pretty much on. It's not looking that bad, honestly. I think if I plastic weld it and just a little bit of like body filler on it and it should look pretty freaking cool. So. I don't know. I'm gonna go inside, cool off, and we'll see when I pick this back up. All right guys, so after test fitting the bumper, I came to the conclusion that the bumper beam is just way too messed up. Like as you can see right here, it goes up. Like it has like a bubble right there. And the old bumper used to fit kind of weird there. And I thought that it was just catching on something, but really it's the bumper beam. So I definitely do need a new bumper beam. So I am gonna go JDM lightweight front beam on this car. Just because I know that if I try to source one of these, it's gonna be around the same price because those bumper beams are pretty cheap. So we're gonna fix the bumper in this video, get it all nice and ready for body work. But we got our window cranks right here. So let's go ahead and throw them on. So I need to try to get it in the same direction. So like kind of going this way. Hopefully I can see that little tiny scratch I made. So let's go ahead and I think I have to remove the clip, but I'm not 100% on that, but I'm gonna do it anyways. So there we go. Put that there, get our new one ready. So just like that. So it's gonna look like that instead of like that. So going a little skinnier this thing is going on a diet so pull this one off and slap the new one on like that there we go so now we have a black window crank nice now we have black window crank black door handle and then the purple cart boy 
pull straps. So this door is looking pretty cool. One extra little bit that I ended up ordering for this car, since there isn't gonna be a whole lot going on with the dash, I wanted to just give it a couple of nice things. So I sourced a JDM red hazard switch which I have right here. So we're gonna go ahead and throw this on and replace this. So we're gonna go back here. There we go, pull it out if we can, yeah. So, uh, it's hard doing it with one hand. So out with the old, in with the new. So let's go ahead and plug this one up. It's not like it's gonna work right now anyways, but once I swap the wiring, it will work, so. Oh, come on. Is it in? It's in. All right, so let's snap this back in place. Voila. Got that nice little JDM touch on this now. So now that that's done, let's go ahead and start hot stapling the top and lower part of the bumper using our hot stapler that we have right here. I got this thing from Amazon and I freaking love this thing. Like there is nothing that I can't fix now. So we're gonna go ahead and hook this up and start hot stapling this all around so it can be one whole thing. After that, we'll go ahead and plastic weld it, but that's for a future video. Right now, I just want it to be one piece and hold itself in one piece. This is where we're at so far. And as you can see, the fitment is gonna be so freaking nice. I think I'm gonna have to fill in this hole right here with some more uh, material, like bumper material, just to fill this hole here. I cut it off too much and I didn't have it cut. I cut it off yesterday, which I shouldn't have done, but whatever. So, I mean, once you get it pretty close, like right there is gonna close up, right here it's not though, so. I'm gonna have to just cover up a little bit right here. I can't do this yet because I need someone giving it force down while I hot staple it. So haven't done the corners yet. This side is actually a little too long. So I'm gonna have to trim this one, which I'm more than okay with. So I have to do that, but I can't push it farther in either because of the, uh, the bent bumper beam, as you can see, has this bump right here, so. This is where we're gonna end it off for now. So one of these days I'm gonna see who I can have hold it down for me while I hot staple the corners, fill it in with some bumper material, more plastic. Then on the back, I'm gonna go ahead and plastic weld the whole thing. And then that way on the exterior, all you, we're gonna have to do really is put some like body filler, sand it down and it'll look very nice. But again, I am super stoked on how that thing is gonna look. It's gonna look so freaking cool. But I'm gonna end the video off here, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed it and are excited to see the final product as I am because I can't wait. But we're gonna have to save that for another day. So for now, make sure you smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. And while you're down there, hit the little bell icon so you don't miss out on any of the future videos. But that's gonna do it for this one. So as always, keep moving forward and stay on the gas.